Good morning. I'd like to talk a little bit about ARKit Quantum, ticker symbol ARQQ, and Seals Q, ticker symbol LAES. And in the morning session today, both symbols have done very well in the market. I want to go over the price analysis and also some of the company profile and the news surrounding that. One of the big things coming up is Arkit has earnings before market tomorrow. So I think a lot of eyes are on Arkit. And in this age of quantum computing, these quantum cybersecurity companies are going to be uh, potentially hugely important to enterprises and governments around the world that want to secure and protect their data. It's very interesting to see these post-quantum cybersecurity plays doing well going into ARKIT earnings. So let's take a look. First, we covered LAES, Seals Q on the channel last night. So Seals Q does semiconductor and quantum security solutions. And they they have a nice website that goes over their products and services. They're a wise key company. So SealsQ examines the interaction between quantum computing and semiconductors to develop the next gen of quantum resistant secure microcontrollers and related trusted devices. SealsQ has a focus on post quantum security, which is the idea that once they're sufficiently powerful quantum computers, that they will be able to hack RSA encryption and our traditional encryption methods will no longer be adequate. So they are offering solutions to secure data in that future with quantum computers. We talked about this yesterday, but this is one of the only publicly traded companies that is specifically talking about what they call this quantum threat, which is existing public key cryptography is based on the difficulty of factoring, calculating elliptic curve discrete logarithms. Quantum systems can develop unbelievable calculation power to decrypt widely used asymmetric security protocols, such as RSA or other algorithms. It is mandatory to implement post-quantum cryptography before current crypto systems. And as you look around their website, they have robust product line. They have uh, the quantum resistant products line. Let's take a look at that. So they offer some demonstrations and have a little video here. They make quantum resistant hardware. And we also know that SealsQ is trying to improve its financial performance. So ended 2024 with a much stronger cash position and has eliminated some of its convertible debt. So as a business and as a concept, I really like SealsQ and LAES. Let's see what the market, uh, how the market is pricing LAES today. So from open, we see that SealsQ actually moved up 32% before sell-off, and now we're sitting at about a 12% move on the day. So a key psychological level, let's look back at, I've indicated before that for me to be convinced we need to break through that this is a bullish reversal. We need to break through this 388 level. And we actually did this morning, but on, on the four hour chart, as you can see, the candle isn't super bullish. It's it's more towards the bottom of the candle. So we're still in a situation where it could be, but it isn't for sure a bullish reversal. As you can see, we're stair stepping up. And I like the chart from Thursday, May 15th to today, that's a 55% increase. And you might say, well, that, that seems pretty bullish. But when you look at the entirety of Seals Q, there has been a significant amount of rejection and the stock has wanted to sit below this 388 price point. The next stop would be 433, which is exactly where it rejected so far on the market today. So what are we looking at as far as what's going to happen for the rest of the trading session? Well, probably a lot of algorithms and 
different things have picked up this 30% move and the tailwinds of quantum are pretty strong in the current moment. We definitely need to get above 388 and 388 needs to start acting as support. I just want to show once again how important that 388 level is for LAES. It has been a consistent area of rejection and it has held LAES down under that for many months going back to February. So that's why I say I'm not convinced yet it's a full bullish reversal, but it's a very strong indicator that there could be more upwards price movement. Now let's take a look at ARQQ. So our kit, ticker symbol ARQQ is another, our kit is in the UK. And I believe that Seals Q is in Switzerland. So our European friends are also getting ready for the quantum revolution. So our kit makes a few different products. They have their SCA platform, their network secure and encryption intelligence. So they have integrated automated on-demand quantum safe protection of VPN data and communications. Guess who is going to be lining up to buy this product from our kit? Banks, governments, large enterprises, you name it. They're going to be lining up to have quantum safe networking. And it looks like Arkit also has an uh, encryption risk advisory service. So they're targeting companies to help them reduce their cyber risk exposure. And they go over the problem and looks like it's pretty easy to book a call. I looked in their most recent press releases and they do have a collaboration with EQUUS, I don't know how to say that, and Intel who demonstrate a first world quantum safe CFC compliant MACP architecture for classified mobile communications. So it looks like they're working with American company Intel, and I haven't heard of uh, this E company before. Um, the companies have worked together to successfully demonstrate, develop, demonstrate, and validate a mobile access capability package that is compliant with the U.S. national security NSA commercial solution. So you like to see U.S. and national security um, as an investor that does add a lot of credibility to the work that they're doing. A little bit more about the company. Arkit supplies a unique quantum safe symmetric key agreement encryption platform, which makes the communications links of any network device, cloud machine, or data at rest secure against current and future forms of attack, even from a quantum computer. I did want to do a little bit more digging because this company is very interesting. They kind of fly below the, the radar. So I went in search for an article and I found that Arcit Quantum is 50% owned by the uh, insiders. Okay. So, so basically, a total of three investors have a majority stake in the company with 52% of ownership. Institutions own only 12% of Arkit. And there was a, a chart down here that showed that. So institutions have 12% share. General public has a 35% share. And individual insiders have a 50% share. Uh, so that could explain why the stock can get very expensive, very quickly, not a lot of shares to go around. And what does the institutional ownership tell us about Arcit Quantum? We can see that Arcit Quantum does have institutional investors and they hold a good portion of the company's stock. This can indicate that the company has a certain degree of credibility in the investment community. So we like to see that as well. So what do we expect for earnings? I did a little bit of digging. They report before market tomorrow. Um, companies can have run-ups like this and then sell-offs when they miss earnings. It's hard to say. Uh, so I don't have any predictions for you on Arkit's earnings, but I think a lot of investors, especially that are interested in quantum computing and quantum computing stocks are gonna be watching closely what 
market reports tomorrow before market open. So if their earnings are really good, this could be the last chance to get into ARQQ at its current levels. And if they're bad, then there's going to be plenty of entry opportunities. But I, I think long term, there's going to be demand for uh, this type of company. So how is the market looking at ARQQ today, a day before going into earnings? Well, at one point today, we're up 27%. So right now we're trading at a gain of the day of 17% at the $28 price point. I want to look at the four hour chart. So we're clearly in a bullish reversal on this chart. And if we look back to December, we know that ARQQ at one point was hanging out in this 35 to 50 dollar range. So is it on its way back? First, we had the quantum crash, which sent the stock down to sub 20. Then it made a little bit of recovery. And then there was a lot of sell off and a very challenging macro. And it made a little bit of recovery and then more sell off. And then in April, when the market. So we can see from the chart here that this shows a story of a consistent downtrend, but there have been multiple bounces off this $10.82 uh, price point. And we can see that actually in April, when the market was doing its worst, you could pick up this for $10. So those who have, who entered this trade when the market was its most fearful, let's say from the bottom, from, the April lows to now, there's been a 174% increase. Now let's get into the last five days of trading. And we can see that there has certainly been some bullish momentum behind the stock. I like the stock on a, I like the company, I like the stock. And I would say that there's a pretty clear setup here that if ARQQ is to report good earnings. There is a significant potential upside still. All right, guys. So <clears throat> post quantum security, post quantum security is going to be a theme in the coming years. All right, guys. So post quantum cybersecurity is definitely going to be a theme in the coming years. Companies like this my prediction is they will do very well. Even in, if the near term, we'll see what the revenue looks like. I, I don't have that information for you. I don't have that crystal ball. But I think in the medium to long term, there's going to be a ton of demand for this exact type of company. Also, I want to mention that before we close the video, a lot of quantum stocks have been really hot lately. So if you're new to this space, and you're new to investing or you're buying these stocks, make sure you set a stop loss. There can always be pullback. When things go up, they do come down. Uh, maybe not, maybe we're gonna be seeing some higher levels of support than we've seen in the past, but it's always prudent to exercise caution. And when you invest, protect yourself. Um, the, the idea is to make money, not lose money. Um, and my personal approach to my investments in quantum, since I'm looking at a longer term uh, time horizon, three, five, eight, ten 10 years, I, I don't really care so much about the day-to-day -day price movements, but I know a lot of people do. And I love looking at the charts and how investor sentiment is manifesting in the charts. So happy to report on it. Hope you took some value out of this. If you did, uh, please consider leaving a like or subscribe. Good luck on the market.